Damien is a 46-year-old disabled vet who thought that college wasn't for him. But just a couple of months ago, he graduated Liberty University after only having been trying to get a degree for nine months. And he did all of his 30 LUO credits in three terms, which is insane. Not only that, but he was also able to get a really awesome discount that he'll tell you about, and he was able to get credit for previous work experience. This guy is hacking college in just about every way that it's possible to hack college, and I'm excited to let him tell you his story. I grew up in a household where, you know, at the time that I was uh, graduating high school, you know, my parents were going through a lot of things like, you know, a lot of families do. At the time, I was the only kid at home. I have a sister who's six years older than I am. She'd already you know, left the house and, and I was kind of that last kid in the home. So my final two years of school, I had zero direction. Uh, my parents didn't have very much to do with me in terms of of leading me down any sort of path. My dad just basically told me, hey, when you graduate high school, you need to leave the house. <laughs> and so there was no thought process of, of going through the college process. I didn't do the the pre SAT or ACTs. I didn't take any of the standardized tests. I just kind of was was aimless in terms of what I was going to do. However, there was one school, like many schools, you know, they send out the the brochures and the information. There was one school that sent me a brochure and that was Liberty University. You know, I looked at this brochure and I thought to myself, I wonder if I could go to college, but I didn't think anything of it. So I ended up joining the military. I made the decision uh, last summer to go back because of my children. My son is 25 years old. He has graduated from the University of Missouri, and now he's in his doctoral program. Uh, my oldest daughter, she just graduated from Murray State, and she'll be entering her doctoral program soon. So just seeing my kids be successful and understanding that, you know, their approach to learning, their approach to education, it hasn't been some great feat that was different that I could have done. They just had a path that was laid out for them. I looked at a lot of different schools and online education had to be the path because I work anywhere from 60 to 75 hours per week. So when I looked in the Liberty University, I contacted them and their approach to answering my questions and, and giving me information was so much different than all of the other universities that I reached out to. When they found out that I was a veteran, it was like they were basically begging me to <laughs> that school. And then when they asked what I did for, for work, and I told them that I worked in armed security in Portland, you know, they said, listen, if you can get a letter from your HR department that basically details what it is that you do, because you're basically working in a first responder role. And we'd be more than happy to give you a combined discount for military and first responder. So in the course of three terms, they saved me over $12,000. I mean, I just can't say enough good things about my experience with the school. What was the thing that made you decide, oh, you know what, I really should go back and get this degree? A lot of it is, is my kids. I would say that another large portion of that was finding your channel. You know, education has been something that's been a, a weight around my neck for my entire life. I'm not uneducated but I just never had a, a family dynamic where education was important or that it was even something that was talked about. So as I've gotten older, you know, a lot of my success or any sort of accomplishments that I've made, it's been very, very difficult. And it's taken me a lot of extra work. Whereas I'm seeing people that are being more successful in place in positions of, of influence or, or better positions work-wise basically because they have the education, they have that degree behind their name. So when I'm looking at positions of management, I'm looking at positions of, of opportunity, that's a, a barrier of entry. For me, I need a system, I need a way to get from point A to point B. You provided me a path that on my own, I had never really thought about being able to approach it. So when I enrolled with Liberty, and this is such an amazing, uh, I when I enrolled with Liberty, I was talking to um, this lady in the registration's office. And she says to me, she goes, sir, you know, I'm looking at your transcripts and I don't want to be out of line. You know, you're looking at the interdisciplinary studies degree. You're looking at doing social science. You're looking at doing communications. She goes, but I'm looking at your transcripts. You have all of these credits from the military and 
the vast majority of these credits are not going to apply to your degree path. If you just declare aviation as a path on your degree, it's going to open up 15 credit requirements. That 15 credit requirement will be completely soaked up by the 20 credits that you have from the Air Force. And I'm like, well, what does that mean? And she goes, well, it means that you're not going to have to take 15 more credits. So, you know, if we're looking at $390 per credit hour, you know, what does that come out to for 15 credits? That immediately wiped that off the table. Yeah. And, and it gave me this path, you know, towards completing my degree even faster. And then coming in with Sophia, I think I came in with maybe 40 credits over the course of three months, you know, to someone who never thought that they could get through college, someone who thought that they could never, you know, be able to finish college. Liberty created a huge path for me and you created a huge path. Mm -hmm. for me. And thank you again for being willing to share your story with other people and to pass it on. I think people are going to watch this. They're going to be inspired by this. One of the things that I did want to kind of caution people, the Sophia path and the life experience credit path, those yeah. are all very, very beneficial. However, you have to be aware and, and really look at the numbers because when I did the life experience credit, it gave me three credits for uh, the communications. I ended up needing to submit a waiver, I think, because what they gave me credit for was the, um, the 101 class. Mm -hmm. And that 101 class was a prerequisite to get into an upper level class communication class. Mm -hmm. But since I didn't go through the class, they had to go in and do a waiver to allow me to move into that next class. It's important that if you're going to do that life experience credit to maybe think about the classes that are going to come after that, that you need in terms of fulfilling that upper level class requirement. You don't want to put yourself in a situation where now you're getting credit for a class, but then you have to go back and take another class in order right. to get the prerequisite to get into a further class when it's upper level. That's really good advice. How many classes were you taking per term? Um, this last term for the spring, it was 19 credit hours that I had <sighs> to finish. Oh my gosh. So I had to submit a waiver and get permission to take the 19 credit hours. I think that I might have done maybe six or nine the first mm -hmm. term. I think I did 12 the second, and then I needed to do 19 to finish my degree. Now here's the thing. This is why I think that they allowed it to go through. The classes that I needed to graduate in this last term were mm -hmm. all of my easy classes. Some of the more difficult classes I took on the front end because I had just come through Sophia. And so I was kind of in that mode of like really knocking everything out. Nice. I don't recommend it though. If you're taking like 19 hours of really heavy weighted classes, I would not recommend it. And that'd be very difficult. But if you're in a situation where you've put more of your easier electives towards the end of your degree completion, then it's a little bit different. Yeah. And, and you, you bring up a good point kind of incidentally there in higher education. And I've found this to be especially true at Liberty. If there's ever a rule that says, Hey, you cannot do X. Well, just ask around, just talk to an advisor, talk to a dean, email the chair, whatever it takes. And somebody somewhere is very likely to be able to write a waiver if you really seem like you want it bad enough. Well, hey, to wrap up, is there a piece of advice that you would give folks out there who are thinking about going down this path? My biggest piece of advice would be to use the Sophia path if it's open to you. you know, they're really good about giving you different options in terms of what's the best way for you to, to learn information, retain information. They might have one video path where the person is more expressive. They might have a video path where the person is just giving the information. You know, you can do more reading. It'll tell you right there on the syllabus. These are the 15 things that we're going to hit. Well, if you look at those 15 things, you look at the glossary, which you can also download the glossary of, of information, and you're aware of that, it's easy to figure out exactly what they're going to be asking you, especially when you go through the modules. If I look at all the information, go through all of the modules and keep rolling, if I just take two or three hours and just digest the information, do the information, and then take the, the, the milestone, I can get through that very, very easily. Now, if you ask me that 
six weeks later, I might not have retained that information. So now when I'm at Liberty and I'm taking that next level class, that's where you start to run into some problems. So being aware that it's really good to utilize that, to hack that degree in terms of getting those credit hours, that's very beneficial, but there is a drawback when you actually get into those next level classes. No, that's really great advice. Uh, a lot of people don't think about it that way. And, and some people, you know, like, hey, let's just skim through the Sophia course. And for some Sophia courses, it makes sense, but especially ones where later classes will build on the information where there's a lot of technical terms, you might end up putting the work in for that Sophia course just the same, except uh, while you're trying to play catch up in some super advanced class way down the line. Well, Damien, thank you so much for being on. Really an honor to get to chat with you. Thank you for your service and thank you for sharing with everybody here. All right, you take care. Super impressive stuff from Damien. Really glad to have him on the channel. And I'm guessing that you're probably watching this video and thinking to yourself, wow, that guy is super impressive. That could never be me. But the fact of the matter is, is that just a year ago, he was watching interview videos on this channel and thinking the exact same thing. The only difference is that he went for it. And the truth of the matter is that you can too. If you can commit to 15 hours of work a week, just like two hours per day, most people are able to use that amount of time with our methods to graduate in under 18 months. And if you can do 20 hours a week, three hours a day, you're looking at under 12 months in most cases. And of course, you might work less on weekdays and more on weekends. That's just how it goes, right? And if you have career goals that require a bachelor's degree, this is a huge step towards making your life better. And you you totally can do it. We would love to help you accomplish that if you want to be like Damien and get your degree in under 12 months. Heck, we've helped people get it in under nine or or six months even. Though to be fair, some of those people are like clinically insane with how much work they want to put in. But the fact of the matter is, we'd love to help you. We will help you pick out a college and a major that are right fit for you and as quick and inexpensive as possible. And then we'll help you build a step-by-step -step plan to get there. All you have to do is earn the credits and we take care of the rest. The link is in the description for a consultation with us. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Damien, and happy hacking.